Good morning, everyone. Uh, bear with me because my voice is a little bit kaput this morning, but um, I'm going to show you anyway how to pose baby boy in this hanging basket. <clears throat> um, so there's two images. One is the hanging basket itself, and the next one is baby boy posed safely on the posing stand. Um, you'll see he's on the same coloured fabric or a similar colored fabric. It is actually the same fabric, but it looks a bit darker in this image. Anyway, so from here, we're going to select the whole image. Um, I just use my rectangle marquee tool and go edit, copy, and then go over to the other image and paste. Now that, that image layer there, you want to turn it into a mask. Um, and then just click back onto where the image itself is there and bring it down to 50% so you can see. Um, that way you can see the image of baby boy and the nest behind. And then Command T and you'll be able to resize him to place him into the nest. If you hold Shift when you're um, resizing him, it keeps his proportions as they should be. Um, another way is just by clicking that little paper clippy thing, whatever it is. And then place him so into a spot where he looks like he could really be sitting in there. I'm going to put him about there, I think. And click yes. Now I'm going to bring that back up to 100%. Click onto the mask section and invert it, so Command I. And now with a brush, I can come back, because that's a black layer, you want to use a white brush and paint him back on. I'm not really fussed about the edges, just want to make sure his whole body is on there. Uh, just like that. And by clicking the button under the delete button, I'm not sure what you call that. It's like a straight up line and then a backslashy kind of line can see where you've actually painted just to make sure. And I'm going to zoom in here just to see it all. Um, and then with a hard brush, something a little bit firmer with harder edge, I'm going to come in really close here. And then back with my black brush start painting off the edges of him. There's other ways you can do this, you know, with um, masking the edges and all that, but honestly, this is fine to do it like this if you're very patient. And with the firm brush, um, I find babies that have lots of hair, it's better to do it with a, um, with a, like a brush, um, what am I saying, a, um, refine the edge brush, where you mask it out, but, um, he's, his hair, the line on the edge of his head is quite, um, straight, there's not much fine fluffy hair sticking up, so it's fine. And the closer in you come, the easier it is to just to really get that edge. This is the tedious part, but when you're looking at a little face like that, it's not really that much of torture. <laughs> it's quite a beautiful job. Look at his lips, he's so cute. <clears throat> and then just all up around here. If you go over, you just Go back to your uh, white brush and just bring it back a little bit. Now I'm not too concerned about the actual backdrop here. I just really want to make sure his body is 100% sort of trimmed out of of that um, backdrop. I 
I'm going to be blending all around here in a second, which I'll show you. So the main thing is that his little body is, is cut out and pasted onto here first. And I'm using my Wacom tablet here um, with the pen to do this. It makes life 4,000% easier. Um, there's no way I could do this with just a plain mouse. Way too hard. This is literally just like using a lead pencil or colouring in pencils and doing it it's so easy. Sometimes if you have a baby with a bonnet on, or if you have a baby that has a lot of fluffy hair, um, it's sometimes a good idea to maybe just put a bonnet on that baby, because the bonnet's a lot easier to trim out, otherwise you do have to do the masking of the edges and refine your brush. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> All right, so he's cut out there like that. I'm going to bring my brush back down to soft <coughs> and make my brush big again. Um, invert my brush and I'm going to bring it down to about 20%. So what I'm actually doing here is now just bringing back some of the fabric and blending it with the fabric that's already there. <coughs> so just slightly going around now and bringing back some shadow around him like that and you're going to start to see the other fabric coming through and that's what I mean with the having the same color <clears throat> fabric or posing him on the same fabric makes life very much easier <clears throat> and we're going to be adding shadows to this and um, you can see the colors slightly a little bit different um, the way it white balanced but it really doesn't matter because it's going to be all blended in a second anyway and I can change that color a little bit too I'm going to come back just up here a little bit too, just to fuzz out that back bit since it's um, in the background rather than being in the foreground. It should be a little bit blurry back there, just fractionally. Okay, so you can see where it's starting to just fuzz off around the edges of him. <coughs> What's that there? It shouldn't be now. Just take that off a bit. Okay, for now I think that is good. Yep, looks pretty good. Alright, so from there I'm going to just flatten that with Command Shift E. <coughs> <coughs> and then, um, firstly we're going to start adding a little bit of shadows around here. Actually, no, I'm going to um, just balance out the fabric around him with slightly white balanced. Um, well, the image of baby boy has been fractionally changed the white balance a bit warmer, which means the fabric's just a little bit yellowy around him. So I'm just going to um, white balance. Where is it? Color balance. Just take the yellows out and just bring them back a little bit to the blues, fractionally like that. And then Command I just to invert it. And I'm just going to paint that on just on that yellowy edge around him. 
just like that. And then if I need it, if you can see if you go really dramatic, it goes very blue. But just enough to counteract that yellowy ring around him a little bit. I was wondering why that didn't work. More brush would have helped. Bring the opacity down and just build it up till it looks right. I think there is about good, so it's about 30%. Just takes the blue, uh, the yellow tone tinge that was on that fabric a little bit around him. And then flatten that one. <clears throat> okay, so he's still looking quite cut and pasted. So we need to get some shadows going on the fabric. So um, you can either do that by dodging and burning or creating a curves layer, bringing it darker and, and just painting on some shadows. I think today I'm going to do a little bit of dodge and burn. Um, so I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to change it to luminosity and then come over to my burn tool, come back in close to him. And then we're in mode saturate, flows 50%. And just very slowly, you really want to take it easy with this. Oops. Burn tool. What am I talking about? Burn tool. <laughs> we're in mid-tones, exposure 20. Let me just bring that back. Here we go, all right. So now we've just got some shadows. So you can see when you take the photo, like I took this, this is my own digital nest that I've taken image. My light was on the right hand side. And when I posed baby boy, my light was on the right hand side. So I know the shadows are all gonna fall to his left hand side or like all onto this side, wherever there is. You can see the shadow there and shadows through here and shadow is gonna be here. Um, so you got a picture like the light's hitting his head and his bottom here. So of course it's going to throw a shadow around his bottom half there. There'll be a little shadow under his little arm here a little bit. On the back of his arm, there's a shadow. On the side of his face, there'll be some shadow. Um, and then just sort of blending it so it doesn't look kind of weird. And even where there's creases in the fabric, it's good to just sort of go over them a little bit, create some real depth, get some shadows going. Around here is going to be really dark because the light would be just really, really not able to get there, especially with his body in the way. Um, and then basically something like that. As you can see before and after, it just adds a little bit of shadow. I'm going to flatten that. This little bit of fabric here is just bothering me a little bit, so I'm just going to patch that up a little bit. That's better. Just the line on there was a little bit annoying. Now, to me, he looks a little bit too bright for the whole image, so I'm just going to darken him a little bit with a curves layer. I'm just going to bring it down, Command I to invert it, and then with a brush on white. Just go over those um, bright bits where he's sort of too bright. So you can see where I've put them just on his head and his body there where it looks a little bit too bright. So before and after. I can even bring that down a little bit more, not too much. Let me just fill in that back of the nest a little bit there. And flatten that. It looks pretty cute. Um, <clears throat> the way the fabric sitting is a little bit sort of um, not balanced to me. So I'm going to do Command J for a new layer filter and liquify. And just going to pull that fabric out a little bit there so that we have a little bit more balance here. Just to um, push his little foot back in there. So there's a little bit more symmetry happening here. Push that up a little bit, something like that. Get a little bit of fabric hanging down a bit there. 
something like that. I might bring this down a bit here. And okay. You can see before and after, it's just a bit more balanced now. <clears throat> um, and so from there, I think I'm going to just do my regular edit now. It looks pretty good. Looks um, like he was actually posed in there. Um, and that's pretty much it to get him in there. Now, now is when you run your own creative style over it um, and go for it. Um, I would never ever attempt to pose baby in this nest. It's actually quite a shallow-ish nest. So um, it would just be way too unsafe to really pose him in there. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, please go ahead and ask me in the comments below. Uh, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and keep watching for more videos coming. Um, if you look in my videos that I've already done, you'll see some other tutorials and posing videos and um, all kinds of behind the scenes goodness over there. So um, if you like this video, please thumbs up and I'll talk to you all soon.